Hello everyone, today I'm commencing my epic let's play of the illustrious video game known by the moniker of Project Spark. This game is apparently an Xbox One exclusive at the moment and may be released for the Xbox 360 in the pending future. It's good to see you ready to travel the universe. All of these worlds made by others just like you. So much to explore. So much to create. The universe is waiting for you to bring it to life. The stories yet to be told, the games to be made, civilizations and societies to be formed. So, what kind of spark are you? Player? Creator? Or both? Oh, but whatever you choose, there's a universe of possibilities. Now, how do we begin? I made a blunder earlier. This game has been released for the PC. I thought that it was coming to the PC in the imminent future. Apparently it has already been released, so I apologize about the mistake. Just wanted to do, clarify the error. All right. The game means to sink, apparently. Oh yes, I forgot to mention, by exploring, playing, and creating, you'll learn energy that will grow your powers. So don't just see, do. Let's play the game. What better way to be inspired than to see what's possible? Of course, but what should we explore? This is my first time playing this game. Unfortunately, I'm not a Project Spark season veteran yet. I look for the prospect of indulging in someone else's adventure that they customized. I have no idea what to expect. That's what makes this game such a novel experience to partake in. Hopefully I'll relish my time playing this game. I hope that I will be bewildered and flabbergasted by the content that I can immerse myself within. See what others have created. Information on this creation. Ah, the more you know. Information on this creation. Ah, the more you know. Alright, we're going to explore this creation. I presume that the creator has spawned a troll species within this community game. Okay, A is how you jump. X is how you swing your sword relentlessly. There's an adversary nearby. This is enthralling, isn't it? There's a monster following me. I wonder if there's any type of objective other than to slaughter my adversaries. The 
Apparently I can harness fireballs. Is there any way for me to run? Apparently not. There's another troll nearby. He scorched who he was. He just distinguished his flames. Extinguish, I mean. Start with the blunder. He just extinguished his flames. I haven't got REM sleep in a while. It's arduous for me to concentrate. So I apologize about any blunders that I may make. A lack of REM sleep impedes your ability to concentrate. This is a riot. There's no objective. I'm starting to decimate these trolls. My actions are desultory. They lack focus. Are these trolls immortal? Perhaps. Their sizes are miraculously changing. Apparently I'm warding off trolls in the middle of nowhere. Found myself without any assistance. I just reaped a new weapon apparently. Can I dual wield these items? Apparently not. I can utilize the trolls weapon against him. I can turn the tables in my favor. One of the troll has got ravaged. Two trolls have gotten ravaged thus far by my brutal might. I, I have physical prowess. My morale is being depleted. I'm in imminent danger. I need to recover my morale. If I do not, I'm apt to die. This game is a blast. It's, it's free to play as well, apparently. I bought the physical. I bought the physical version of this game, which comes with DLC. You can neglect to buy the DLC and play this game completely for free. Of course, your accessibility of the game's content will be limited. But who wants to splurge on the out? Any, any more money that you than you have to to play a game. By purchase on the DLC, you can augment your gaming experience. But it's not a vital necessity to partake in playing a gratifying video game. I've done nearly everything here that I intended to do. I hope that you found this video to be stupendous and insightful and entertaining, no facets. 
I have no idea what to expect. I'm fascinated about all the worlds that the community has created. I love being able to tread across an island without restrictions. This is a fascinating game. I recommend playing it for free. You could play it on the PC, just bear that in mind as well. So you don't have to lay out any money to partake in playing this game. I hope you found this video to be intriguing. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.